you guys i'm back with another word i'm telling you guys this transition but most importantly this season of just being consecrated um and walking out in my purpose and my calling has just really allowed me to hear god's voice ever more clearly so clearly and i pray this is a word for somebody today you guys when god gets you alone it's because he's he's pouring into you he is feeding you you know as you are just submitting and and it's a battle at times and it feels like a battle should i say because the battle's already won but it can feel as a battle sometimes because the enemy doesn't want you to stand up in your authority he knows how powerful you are he doesn't want you to walk out in the knowledge and the wisdom and the insight and the understanding of the holy spirit so he tries to put up a fight but when you realize a fight is nothing nothing because god has already overcome all things you have victory my friend and so i pray that bless somebody today but um and so i just wanted to i was on instagram just you know working and whatnot and so i just felt the lord pouring more into me and speaking about fresh revelation and i believe another sister in christ um i don't remember her youtube channel name but i'll link it below i'll link it so you guys can watch it was talking about this and so it was almost a confirmation as to what i've been discerning but more so today god was just sharing with me so much about um fresh revelation and you know as things intensify right as you see right before you a lot of weird things happening i'm talking about like maybe your family maybe your friends maybe your church environment maybe your business the workplace are just all the odds are against you right it's not a coincidence and so god has been speaking to me about fresh revelation and how he's speaking ever just so clearly so clearly and much more much deeper he's in, he wants to intensify our intimacy with him he wants to, for us to really connect with him and have that romantic relationship that intimate relationship and i say romantic because jesus is our first love before a wife before a husband um he's our first love and we are his bride we are the church the bride that he marries and he builds a covenant with right the most important thing to God is his creation and he calls us his masterpiece and that in itself is powerful and so he's giving us fresh, fresh revelation during these seasons during this moment in this hour to their battle strategies they're literally how to overcome what is trying to come at us and as you embrace this revelation you could take the revelation and apply it wherever you are in this season and um a lot of it is wisdom it is we i always say which the word says wisdom is a gift from the lord and so the battle strategies he's giving you is a knowing you're already one you already won god already won the victory is yours two he really tells us no weapon formed against us will prosper so if there's a lot of things that you've been seeing or maybe you've been just um things have been coming at you remember no weapon formed against you will prosper it is just an an intimidation of the enemy right satan takes all that god has created and he perverts it he intimate he imitates sorry he imitates what god has created because he thinks he's god but he's not this is a power that is backed up behind um i'm sorry this is the evil that is backed up behind the spirit of pride the spirit of manipulation the spirit of jezebel god gives us authority to call these things out to call these spirits out to call these evil tactics out to call the schemes out when you call them out through your mouth you are literally speaking authority over these things because they have to bow down to god he says every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that jesus is lord so when you have the authority to speak over wickedness to speak over the things that are happening in your life the storms have to pass the storms have to cease and god's with you and so as you're walking in this season however that looks like to you keep standing in your faith keep standing in your faith know god is faithful and most importantly let him teach you in this season through his word but most importantly his revelation god's always speaking to us 
And so instead of being, see the enemy wants us to stay in a position where we feel defeated, we feel broken, we feel messed up, we feel rejected, we feel abandoned. But when you come at him and say, "Uh, uh-uh, I'm a child of God, I have confidence in the Lord, I have joy in the Lord, I'm going to fulfill the mission and assignments God has placed in my hands. I am going to be more than a conqueror. I am a child of God. You speak those words over everything you're facing. And that is a battle strategy. That's part of the battle strategies, but that is the main power that we have. God tells us, he's given us a spirit of power, his word, his love, his grace, uh, a spirit of um, love, a, a spirit of sound mind, meaning that we don't have to try and figure all things out. We don't have to try and make sure that, you know, um, it's within our own control. It's God's control. God's ways, God's thoughts. And so I really pray that this word encourages you guys and 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 really to understand his fresh revelation, to really understand your your gifts and being anointed and walking and being raised up in your gifts. Get closer to God. Have that intimate relationship. There's nothing better. There's no one better than having that first love relationship with God. He literally is love and he will show you what you've been missing out and he will just pour so much into you. And so I pray that encourage somebody today. And so um, I love you guys and I'll be back here soon. God bless.